Hello everyone, I'm Chinese Mr. Mocha Lover, and thank you for joining me here in Kaiserreich playing as Ching China. So, this is definitely not where we left off last time. It is now June 1944. Uh, last time I told you I would play a little bit ahead of time, and this is the result. We were at war with the Dominion of India, who was in the Entente, but they literally capitulated right before I started recording this, because I didn't realize they would capitulate so quickly. Um, I guess you can see that they're still in... Um, uh, uh, bad. Um, uh, bad. Anyways, um, I'll be honest, Burma's giving a little bit more trouble because there's a, lot, a few rivers down here. It's, it's going okay-ish. Um, we were at war with the Bharatiya commune as well, and we still are. But the Indian Empire itself is still at war with them as well. So, um, we'll divide these guys up when they're when we're done with them. I've not gone to war yet with the Indo-Chinese Union or Siam, which we will in this episode. Um, actually, you know what? Once the war is over with India, or the Indian Civil War, where we're also engaged, I'm just going to make southern India just part of the Indian Empire. It just makes more sense. Also, I will be taking the South Tibet, also known as Tawang, because that's historical Chinese clay. Well, according to some people. And regarding Kashmir, mm, India might not like that. But I'll give them a lot of territory in exchange for Kashmir as well. Uh, but let's talk about the world, because the world has gone pretty much to hell. I mean, it's really, really gone to hell. Oh my goodness, it's insane what has happened in the past couple, uh, pretty much an entire year since we last had each other here. So, Russia, they've gone crazy. They've gone absolutely mad with power. So they took out the German Union, they took out the Baltic States, and now, uh, well, they took out the Reichs Pact. So now they have the German Union under them, under von Witzleben. They also have Armenia... Uh, Russia went to war with the Ottoman Empire. Actually, the Ottoman Empire went to war with Russia, and they subsequently lost. We have Kurdistan here. We now have Egypt, which is in the Cairo Pact. So that's a, so Iran's in the Cairo Pact. Kurdistan is sweating bullets right now. Um, yeah, they're sweating bullets. Armenia is still here. I might just give this to Russia, because they technically have claims. Um, just for Borgor, as well as... I want less lag. <laughs> That's quite literally it. You have claims on them anyway. You might release them as a puppet. Maybe, maybe not. Uh, but this is Europe. So, what happened? After the Reichs Pact fell, uh, the Batavian Commune came alive. They own all the low countries except for, you know, Luxembourg. I did unite all of Germany under one banner. It's called Southern Germany. It's really, you know, West Germany, whatever. So it kind of matches against the East German Union. Uh... Austria was taken out by the Third International. And then, well, you're a puppet of Italy. Italy actually quite literally just unified into one solid block. Italy is united. That's a little crazy. Excuse me about that. Yugoslavia, or really the Serbian Republic is here. Um, they're in the Belgrade Pact with Albania as well as Romania still. Uh, Slovakia and Czechia was released. They're puppets of Italy, but I said, you know what, no Slovakia in this game. Let's reduce the lag just a minor bit. So I just gave it a Czechia. Um, we have the Union of Galicia Lodomeria. Pretty crazy. The Communist of France actually, you know what, they actually capitulated first. But then after Austria fell, then they were able to kick out the French Republic, which has been defeated. Yeah, this is a third international. It's brown. And then we have the Entente, which the German government in exile actually joined the Entente. A little crazy. The Second American Civil War still going on in 1944, the People's Commission. He belongs out of manpower, but uh, so was the Progressive Party in McNary. Canada, you've basically lost a whole lot. I mean, Canada, I mean, you lost all of Africa, pretty much. Except for, you know, the German government. Morocco has fallen to a degree. But it was really interesting. The Third International is very strong, which is good. Very, very good, because Russia will come knocking eventually. And Entente's still down here. We're looking pretty sexy right now. Huh. And Chile, Bolivia. Oh, oh, Mexico City has fallen. They're still in the Entente. Chile and took out Mexico City. So it's been crazy. It's been very crazy. But I'm ready for this Southeast Asia conflict to be over. And you know what? I don't like this being here. This is disgusting. It's going to cost me a lot of manpower. I've also, or political power. We've got 14 million manpower. 
I've been trying to core more stuff using, you know, my political power. Other than that, not much else has happened. I did have a huge deficit of motorized as well as support equipment, but it looks like we're out of that for now, which is good. Oh my goodness, I need so much aluminum. I need more naval bombers. Please, 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 please. Ooh, and I've been building a ton of stuff. As you can tell, I have over 400 factories now, which is great, great, great. Um, good, get me more stuff. I've been building more civilian factories, some more airports, a lot of oil refineries. Holy cow, they're really, really, really good when um, uh, we've been going, you know, doing air stuff. So I've lost about half a million. However, uh, Canada, I guess I've killed a few. Not very much. They haven't really tried to invade us too much. German government in exile, I haven't really killed them. Mexico as well. Greece is, you know, Greek. But the, for the faction, we've killed one and a half million Burmese people. We've also killed off six over 600,000 uh, Indians, you know, Bharatiya Commune Indians. And we've killed off 1.6 million Japanese people because they keep invading for some unknown reason. I've been destroying a few convoys as well, and they've been trying to invade up here as well. So, it's been crazy. And they're trying to invade Korea again. So they've lost millions of people just by doing nothing like that. Just ridiculous. Um, for the meantime, though, we have new coast we need to guard. And I might try to get into a war with Russia by the end of this video. I don't know how much of India we're going to split up between me and other India. So, we'll see what happens. Oh, there's a big old navy here. I still haven't been able to really damage their navy too much. They've been pretty smart about not deploying it in too many regions. And I've also been keeping an eye on my fuel because everything costs a lot of fuel. A lot, a lot, a lot of fuel. Um, however, you do see a Russia garrison over here. Russia, I've just been kind of trying to get ready to go to war with them. So, I need divisions for that. And that'll be very, very handy to have. Next up, we'll throw you right there. We'll throw all of you, Army 11, right there. That'd be great, so that you can move along with everyone else, you guys. Come down there, do that. You guys do the same. Building up places, building up tons and tons of places. The game is fairly laggy at this point. Pretty much expected. No real worries about that. You guys come over here, I don't really care. Um, you guys come over there, it doesn't matter to me. Since we will take out Siam and Indo-Chinese Union at the same time, as well as go to war with Russia. That's going to be a little crazy. That's okay, though. We're China. We got plenty of political power. Well, I mean manpower. We don't have enough political power. Uh, yeah, not bad. Pretty good. I've been doing a lot more research on air doctrines and, I, I, and a nuclear reactor. I've got no radar, which is kind of a shame because I usually use radar very, very early on. Uh, you guys, I lost a division actually attacking, which was kind of kind of weird, but you know, whatever. Like I said, Burma has been a real pain in the butt to try to take out. So, I know I don't have a ton of fuel. Um, I should have better naval bombers, or better regular bombers. I guess I'll use you guys still for now. Keep bombing the heck out of these guys, because I want to take out Burma. Jesus. They've been taking quite a while to take out. I mean, they are on scraping the barrel. You, uh, you don't have really good stats yet. They're out of manpower, which is good, but they're not even at major. Oh, yeah. If I, could, they have to capitulate individually. That's what's going to have to happen. Uh, you hold them there. Then you take that tile. The Bharatiya Kami has been kind of a pain, but Burma's definitely been more of a pain. I mean, they're not really that much of a pain, but you know, just like. Come on, guys, it's been a year. Let's get it over with. You're gonna go blow up anyways, you know. I mean, if you don't blow up against me, I will blow up against you, so. Nice, nice. So with with this, India, you I did take out a lot of this territory myself. They weren't even up here. I just didn't have enough divisions in northern India to push down the Dominion of India, the Entente Indian version. So I'll give them a ton of that territory, a ton of the Bharatiya Commune in order for me to take South Tibet, as well as Kashmir. I think that's a fair trade. I'm definitely giving them more than what I'm, than what they probably deserve, to be honest with you. Let's see. Uh, well, maybe not. 21%. How much work has Indian Empire done? They've only done 8%. That's not much. That's really not much. So I think it'll work out in their favor, really. And I'm sure we're going to have wars later on if we were to continue this campaign into, into the late 1900s. Okay, Russia. You're getting kind of scary. Honestly, you're getting a little bit scary, Tsar Romanov. Yeah, Vladimir Romanov. Oh. Oh, boy. 
Oh boy, oh boy. This is exactly what I was worried about. Demand 2, but they got 13 days left. Um, yeah, that's not good. Uh, everyone, can you can you go full speed ahead? We're going to need to go full speed ahead, like, immediately. Where are you guys at? You're guarding them, which is fine with me. You guys are guarding up the north. India, what are you doing? I need you all to hurry up and just take them out, please. Please. For the love of God, please. Please. Go ahead and deploy that, an entire army that's not really ready to be deployed yet. There we go. Let's unpause it. Good, good, good. Put you under Mao Biao. Because we will be able to win eventually against Russia. That's, I'm not really concerned about that, but I don't have that many divisions on that line yet. Good. Oh, wait. Oh, crud. I put, where did I deploy them? Oh, okay, I think I deployed them up north. At least, rel yeah, relatively up north. There's a lot of divisions up here, which is really nice. Oh my goodness, I have so much of a border with them. I don't mind giving them that little territory for now, just because we're going to take it in the long run. Uh, ooh, political power, that's not good. Manage subjects, so territories. Just be care. I don't really care to go ahead and do that. That's fine with me. I need that political power anyway, so. Right now we get one and a half. Good, that's what I want. That's exactly what I want. Burma, I hate fighting Burma. If you guys could win, that would be probably extremely good. And you know what? Do this as well. Uh, losses, yeah. Japan will be the last thing I probably take out in this campaign, just to be honest with you. The literal last thing. Give me an option so that I can give away that piece of territory. Because they're going to keep knocking again eventually. They have cores on outer manchuria which of course we will have to take out or you know keep for us and then blow them up or you know go to war with the uh russians eventually anyways so it doesn't really matter too much yeah we're probably gonna lose a lot of this territory up here that's really not ideal you know what just in case Ooh. oh they gave it up they gave it up that's okay that's totally okay tuva you'll become mongolian eventually again, which will really become more of my territory in the long run. But we're just kind of strapped right now, and we can't do very much. So that, I'm actually okay with that. You know when to pick your fights. You know when to pick your fights. My goodness. India, please, go bye-bye. Please. We just want Calcutta. Do we have air superiority here? Yeah, we need maybe a little bit more bombers. Uh, 100, I guess, for now. Hundred, thank you. Thank you very much. Um, we'll throw another hundred bombers. They're not great bombers, but whatever. Keep an eye on refineries because we need to produce more, 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 more fuel. I love the fuel because we're, oh, they're actually doing a fairly okay job of trying to invade, but they're still not going to work very well. Keep building up more infrastructure as well, so we can keep building stuff up, and I will start building some nuclear reactors because in the end, I will. Pair drop into Japan. That is my goal, to pair drop into Japan. But you know, I could use maybe a couple of nukes here, or there. You know, some good stuff like that. Uh, take all but you. Attack here. Take half of you. Attack here. Flush them out. Flush these people out. Come on, Calcutta, give up. Give up. I'm not even attacking Calcutta. These guys have to give up. Good, good. Push them out. The game is fairly laggy. That's why it's not going super fast. Uh, awesome. No, Mongolia, I'm okay. You'll be okay. You'll be okay. Wrap them up. Wrap them up. Uh, Russia is taking out Romania, which is a little bit concerning, but I need Russia to go to war with the Third International. That would be good. Uh-oh. What's going on? It's a little laggy. A little too laggy for my liking. Good. Keep blowing up those convoys. I mean, they're only convoys. There's a little bit of a navy there. Awesome. Now this is going to be a pain. Can we win here? That's a good question. I don't know. Should be able to, though, I guess. Nice. Begin immediately attacking here. Uh, I definitely need you to do that. And I need you to come over here to help hold the line. Good. These guys are surrounded and cut off, which is ideal. And then we'll be able to take, hopefully, Calcutta. That is the last thing we need from these commune people. 
They've lost close to 3 million. They will lose 3 million. Probably close to 3 million when they're done here. Come on. Just a little bit more pressure. And that's almost 3 million. Oh, pretty much 3 million. Nice. Rangoon. I need Rangoon. Give it all you got, guys. Good. Calcutta is ours. And the Bharti coming has fallen. Oh, Burma's fell as well at the same time. Cool. So, uh, really? I'm going to divide this up fairly, fairly. I will take all of Burma. I mean, that just makes sense. They didn't. The Indian Empire really didn't do very much to them. But, Indian Empire, your turn. Um, think about that. You definitely get all of that. Um, yeah, actually, I think that's pretty okay. I'll take this. Uh, if this isn't mine... You know what? I'm giving you a bunch of... A good chunk of the Dominion of India as well. You didn't do that much. It was really with me that came in. Um, this will, I'm taking this just because the borders will look nice in the end. Because I will go to war with Bhutan. Good, good, good. This is good. Uh, come down here. I want you to come over here. I want you to do that. Now, I will deploy you all up here for now. And I will begin immediately building up more infrastructure in good old Mongolia. And some planes, air bases, you know, all that good stuff. Good. Next up. Um, I will puppet or release these guys soon. Just not yet. Uh, you guys, next up. Oh, Kashgar's going to need some infrastructure. You guys are going to need some infrastructure as well. But I will need to go to war with Siam as well. I don't want to forget that. Do that. You got 20 of you guys. This yes, will probably kill supply down here. I definitely want Siam under us. Um, you all come right there. That would be... Oh, wait, hold on. This is really poor management skills. Yeah, you guys do the entire front line there. That'll be fine. Now, you... One, two, three. Come... Make it four. Right there. And then one, two, three, four, five. Come right there. And then we got another six to deploy to southern. Siam. Central southern. Good. That'll be actually very, very good. Let's make sure these guys got plenty enough stuff. Uh, you guys. You guys can come here. You guys can come here. You guys can come here. Nice. You all can do that. Do we have any spare planes not attached to any armies? Yes, we do, but that's okay first. Now, get you guys. You have 500 bombers. I'm going to throw you all right there. That's probably a bad idea. That's okay. That's totally, totally okay. Well, Indian Empire, I hope you liked your new stuff. And I did say I was going to give India some of this as well. Just go ahead and core it. It doesn't matter. So you don't rebel. Oh, is this course? No. Yeah, I. this is probably heretical doing this, but it's just so ugly. I hate this border core. Oh, wait. You you already had a core on that. Why don't you just take it? You're, they're already your puppets. I, I really don't like that. There you go. Core. Core. Uh, regarding this, this should already be a core. Yeah, there you go. That's nicer. That's much, 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 much nicer than what we had earlier. Um, yeah, not bad. I guess we're not going to really give up Kashmir just yet, or a lot of this territory, because... Uh, well, there's no one really around here. Cool. We have another spare army, I believe so. You guys are up there. You guys are doing that. You guys are moving somewhere. Go ahead and surround Bhutan. Bhutan. We're going to have to take him out soon enough, and... Ooh, can we go to war with these guys yet? No, we have to justify. How long would that take? 190 days is not ideal, but whatever. And I will do the fate of Burma soon enough. Because so far I'm the Chinese United Front, that's kind of funny. Oh, no, 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 no. No convoys, no convoys. Do not get raided. German Union? Thank you. Oh, look at that. We don't need any more rubber, maybe? Oh, soon we will not need any. Uh, Socialist Republic? Thank you. German Union, thank you. Hungarian Socialist Republic, thank you as well. 
Steel to make ships, yes. Good. Keep producing stuff, keep producing stuff, awesome. Who cannot fulfill my needs? Ugh, Romania. I know you're at war, and at least we have Iran here. That's actually kind of nice, having Iran. Ah, oh, dispersed fighting. Very good. And there goes Romania. Go ahead and keep doing this, just because we still have the air XP. And I want to use it up as fast as possible. Oh, Russia. You're going to take out the entire Belgrade pocket, probably. That's a little disgusting. Uh, where are you guys at? Oh, you're trying to get out of there. That's fine. Yeah, that's fine. This, Tawang. Tawang is proper Chinese uh, clay. Do that. Oh, my goodness. German Union. I can't rely on the Germans ever, man. But I will help the Hungarian economy out. However, it's not my goal to eventually, like, just capitulate the Entente. I have what I want. I don't want to invade them. That takes so long to invade Canada, Mexico, and them. I know they're not that strong anymore, but that that doesn't seem like a lot of fun to me. Uh, what does sound like a lot of fun is taking out these guys here. We're going to build up some more air bases there, too. That'd be helpful. Keep building up, guys. Keep building up. I'm sure we got plenty of planes, but we don't have enough fuel. Despite everything else I've done so far. That'd be fine. Uh, nope, nope. Must get joined the Entente. I don't care about that. Tactical bombers, very good. Armor. I should really think more about armor. Let's start making some tanks. That'll come in handy. Not bad. Can't do that, so we'll do this. Go ahead and do that. We're still going to get tons of air XP anyway, since we will be going to war with Russia soon enough. Hopefully we'll go to war with them in this episode. Let's keep pushing on in time. Um, oh, wait. Can I... Oh, I'm still justifying. Oh, that's going to take a while to do. Holy cow. Uh, but, yeah. I guess the... Oh, Third International still trying to kill off the Germans. Oh, the poor Germans. What little we have left... Uh-oh, India doesn't like us. Expanded Africa Corps. I would love... Wait, is this a different focus for you? No, not really. Reclaim the birthright. <laughs> Just good business. India better not go to war with us, because that would be a major problem for us. Oh, Italy, you actually can't give me enough goods. Well, hungry. You'll become a new superpower because everyone's investing in you. Come on, America. Finish off your stupid civil war. It's already 1944. You've been at war for seven years. That's a, that's a little bit too long, in my opinion. But during this time, we can stock up on more and more fuel, which is nice. And They're attacking me with 12 divisions again up here. Um, does anyone have upgrades? Oh, you finally have some. J Zhang Baili. Oh, good. Finally. I mean, he is an old guard. He is politically connected. He's got a lot of good traits, but... There we go! The Russian Empire declared one the Union of Galicia Lodomeria, which puts the Third International at war now with the Russian Sphere. Good. Good. Let them kill each other off more and more and more. Make each other weaker. Because I will attack Russia. And make them into a puppet. Probably from the Urals, if I can. Up until where Outer Mongolia stops, if I possibly can. I don't know if I'll be able to. And there goes them. The Germans are fighting each other like normal. Always good. Always good. Uh, oh. Oh. Yeah, that's how slow this game runs now. Fate of Burma. Well, we might as well do that. Wait, split it up. We can get Kachin, Upper Shan, Lower Shan, Rangoon. Uh, I will have a liberated Burma. That's probably for the best. We lost like 40 factories, which isn't good, but that's okay. If that's the case, I'm going to stop making Coast Guards for Meek. Um, I'm going to lower the the amount I'm making from Korea as well, because I can split this off now with... Uh, Burma. Nice. A good old puppet of Burma. You guys, actually, you're not bad. Um, I really only want 10 combat with. I don't really need super thick divisions. Uh, we'll copy that. we got enough army XP. We can change this up. Thank you. Thank you. Thank of you. Uh, thank of you. And we'll throw on the good old that. The good old... Uh, sure, why not? And then we'll throw on some of that. 
Good enough. Good, good, good enough. Um, who are you led by, Burma, actually? You're led by Myat Payalat. You have a little bit of manpower on scraping the barrel. You have welfare programs. You have university grants. Spirit of Freedom and Bountiful Harvest. Yeah, that's right. Under us, you will become. You will have a Bountiful Harvest. Oh, those poor Japanese divisions. Let's take a quick look at our faction. Very, very nice. Now, we might take out the Indian Empire. I don't really want to. I definitely want Southeast Asia, though. All of Southeast Asia. Oh, crud. That does mean we have to redo this. That's okay. We got time to kill anyways. Uh, you four. Thank you for joining, Mountaineers. You're doing a great job so far. You three, four. Come over here. You might need a few more divisions to hold this area. And then you guys... Do that. Quite the lag. Quite the lag. Radio detection, nice. I like the radio detection. It's really pretty good. Um, I feel like I'm waiting more plants here. Uh, that's 1944. Let's get some land knight attack. There we go. Civilian factories. We're still building some more. We're still building more, 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 more. I'm going to throw in some more uh, naval bombers here, too. So that way we can start actually sinking some more stuff around here. No, oh, fighter 3 is very good. Awesome. Research. Fighter threes are done. That's getting done. Good, good. We will need some strategic bombers, but we're nowhere near ready for that. We could get more rubber. How much rubber do we need to import? None. Maybe not. Good. Great. We do need some more fuel refining, so that takes quite a while to do, but that'll be worth it to get a ton more fuel from all the things that we're building up currently. Let's continue integrating our peoples. 65. I got rid of some of the higher stuff. That's okay. Um, Mountaineers, I'd like to throw you south, but I'm not going to. I'm going to put you over here because I need divisions. Over here. We'll put you under... Uh, Yao, Yao Nan. He likes his rugs, but it could be worse. Good. Oh, oh actually, we probably don't need those divisions now that we threw them over there. Three divisions is good enough for that. You guys come over here next. Good. Uh, oh my god, we need so much aluminum. No, hungry, please give me what I need. Oh, Italy, no, 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 no. German Union, please give me what I need. I don't want to send stuff to Russia, but I might have to. I need I need to continue my production of stuff. Oh, oh my gosh, yes, 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 I need more resources. Does anyone have aluminum anywhere near here? I really need to go to war with Russia. I really do. I want to make sure that they don't... Oh, they are... Eh, I guess that they're international. They're not doing great. It's kind of a standstill to agree. They're trying to kill off the Balkan Union, which isn't good. Oh, but the third international... You're on a two-front war against the Kingdom of Spain and the Entente. Well, actually, you're not even in the Entente. Oh, that's no, so not good. Nice, we're sinking more convoys. They've landed, but they didn't take a port, which is the best thing that could possibly happen. Uh, Ace pilot promoted. How many ships do I have? Where are you? You're over here, which is actually pretty good. Do we have any capital ships? Can I send you this way? You might get sunk on the way over here. Oh, yeah, you might get sunk in Vladivostok. Just, just, my, oh, we sunk a carrier. An improved carrier hull. Nice, good job, guys. That's actually pretty darn awesome. Come on, let's hurry up, get to war with Bhutan, and then I'll go to war with these guys, and go to war with uh, Russia. Uh, oh, there goes the Balkan Union. There they go. How many more days? Come on. 20 days. Jesus. That takes quite a while. We've got Kurdistan here. I'm sure the Kurds are happy about that. Hungary is slowly losing. To be expected, of course. I think... France is actually out of manpower, so... Oh, it's lagging. What's going on? Oh, Russia's releasing puppets. Uh, the qing australasian war, well... Alright. 
Oh, there's Romania again. Got a lot of those guys off. Um, Austria is in China, Indo Chinese War. The Australasian Pacific War. The Internationals lost quite a few guys. Where's Russia? They've lost half a million. Hmm. Yeah, Russia's gonna become huge. Entente's probably gonna take over, maybe. Oh man, it's so laggy. It's like I just wanted to speed up a little bit more. <laughs> Protect our coastline under Doriot. They have a little bit of manpower. That's not bad. Spain though has definitely less, and they're not scraping the barrel as well. South German Union has quite a bit of manpower, and that's not bad. Hungary has none. Russia has some. They're on extensive conscription. Germany, ha German Union has a little bit. Ah, uh, just keep destroying each other, guys. I would really, really appreciate that. What is India doing? Fortify the northern border. They don't actually have a lot of divisions. And Burma, what are you up to? Sharing technology. Good, I like that. Uh, the strength of these guys, I doubt I'll be able to take them out that quickly. But I still want them anyways. Uh, actually, you're sending fighters? Oh, gorilla in the air. Usually when I see that, I think of lending out planes to Yugoslavia. Because that's usually the focus for it. Um, you got a lot of manpower. Kingdom of Siam. National Reserves Act. There we go. Finally go to war with at least Bhutan. You might just join the Japanese sphere or whatever it is. Um, you guys could probably do okay. I'm really not worried about Bhutan. Ah, a thousand are dead. Thirty-four hundred are dead. Um, I don't need you guys. Thanks for offering, though. Next up, keep an eye on what's going on. Start building a nuclear reactor. There's nowhere to really build a nuclear reactor that has relatively good enough infrastructure. I guess I'll build it up here. Keep building up more refineries. The more fuel we have, the more rubber we have, the more we can actually trade away. Which would be very good. And I want to keep building up some more infrastructure regardless. That's really, really important. Alright, so how many more days until we go to war with the Indo-Chinese Union? Ah, there goes Bhutan. Oh, we got some fuel from them. Nice. 70-ish days, or actually more like 80-ish. Good job, guys. Um, if this is going to be the case, I probably don't need too many divisions, honestly. Oh, down here. Oh, oh hello. Oh, I didn't realize you were down here as well. Honestly, you might as well just stick these guys down here as well. You guys... You know what? You do that. Take out the four divisions guarding here. One, two, four. Throw you right there. Um, I mean, sure, Burma. I, I, I don't care. Yeah, go right ahead, guys. Uh, next up, let's integrate Guangxi. Oh, there we go, Bhutan. Thank you very much. Very nice. I will welcome you with open arms. Before we're done here today, go ahead. Throw in some radar over there, because that'll come in handy. This will actually throw in some radar down here, too, because that'll come in handy when we invade Taipei again. I don't want to do it up here, but it's going to be worthwhile doing it anyways up there. Good, keep building, building, building. I am still on air production. Regarding Faded Bhutan, I could... Uh, it's only 15 political power. Go ahead and do that. I'm just going to keep them. Uh, yeah, coming to France isn't doing well. Oh, Union of Britain actually invaded, navally invaded. They actually invaded Ireland, too. Even though they're probably going to get pushed out, at least in Northern Ireland. Oh, maybe not. They actually have a port. Usually we don't see the Union of Britain do that well. They have women soldiers, though. We got a lot of manpower. That's nice. Anything else going on here? We sunk... We found more of the Japanese Navy. Operational destruction. Very good. The last couple of guys. They've invaded us again and again and again. Um... I don't have enough air XP. We're going to stop doing that for now. I could do radar. Rubber would be okay. We're researching tanks. Advanced artillery is completely done. It's 1943. I could get more piercing and more defense. Support companies, though? I could use some more logistic companies. Eh, let's go get this instead. Good, good, good. 
Come on. Oh, and get oh hungry. No, you were my sugar baby, my sugar daddy, whoever that what whatever that was. My aluminum daddy. No, I need some more. Oh no, 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 no. That's terrible, guys. No, 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 no. I definitely don't want to give it to the Russians, but I'll do what I have to do in the moment. I need to make more ships. I don't even have a capital ship yet. They're coming. Yeah, by 1945, it'll be getting in like in a month. We'll have it. Oh, at least they're pushing into Germany just slightly. Oh, Königsberg has fallen. Uh, well, half of France is already gone again. That's not good. Just, uh, well, I'll probably just end the episode here just because we still got so much time before we go to war with the Ch Indo Chinese Union. So, guys, I hope you enjoyed it. By the time we come back tomorrow, I will be ready to go to war with the Indo Chinese Union. I will probably begin justifying on the Russian Empire. Because they need to be taken down a notch. But anyways, guys, we are doing extremely, extremely well. And I hope you enjoyed this, enjoy this episode, guys. If you did, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link below. And I will see you all tomorrow when we shall engage in a massive land war in Asia. Thanks for watching, guys, and have a great day.